So we are going to to do some exercises on vocabulary as I said a moment ago. So we have here some words and they ask you to fill in the blank with these words. You choose the correct words to fill in the in the blank from the words in the in the box. So here you have send, you have resources, you have expensive, you have modern, you have uh, internet, you have world, teenagers, and sites. You have uh, a text of uh, a six line here, and you will have to complete this text with these these words. So let us start with the first sentence. Internet is a way of communication. What should we say? Internet is a modern. Is a modern way of communication because you can to your friends. What should we say? You can send. You can send mails to your friends everywhere around the world. Around the world and serve in different, or should we say here, sites. In different sites, the only problem is that instead of using it to make, to make what? To make riches, some of the teenagers Don't use it positively, okay? Some teenagers don't use it posi positively. So this is how you should complete this text, okay? The second exercise now is uh, matching, I can say. Or find the opposite of between these Adjectives. Find the opposite of the word on the left. Choose from the one on the right. The word on the left are here. You have to find the opposite in these words. Okay? For example, what is the opposite of harm harmless? The opposite of harmless, what is harmless? In French, you say harmless. Uh, what is, what that cannot uh, harm, harm you, okay? You can say in French, uh, inoffensive, okay? Inoffensive, okay? So it cannot do you any, cannot do anything to, to you. Okay? The contrary of harmless is, of course, harm, 
harmful. So here you have harmful. We see it with word building that the contrary of less is full. Full is positive and less is neg negative. Good. So you have harmful. Second, you have generous. Generous is uh, someone who don't mind giving whatever he has. Okay? Someone who share whatever he has with other people. So, generous, the contrary of generous is, of course, here is what we say, me. Okay? Is mean. Okay? Mean. Ava, Cupid. Some one who think only about uh, himself. Okay? Good. You have permanent. Permanent. What is the opposite of permanent? Something what is permanently. It happen every time, regularly. What is the opposite of permanent here in this table? Of course, it is a word temporary. Okay? So, temporary. Temporary is the opposite of permanent. Okay? Good. You have also the word industrious. Industrious is someone who want working or someone uh, who have a lot of energy, okay? Who have a lot of energy to do something or uh, to do any kind of thing. So the contrary, the opposite of industrious, okay, is of course lazy. Okay, is lazy. Someone who is lazy is someone who don't like working, who don't like to do anything, and who eats a lot. He likes only eating. Eating and sleeping without doing any anything. So you say you are lazy. So the contrary of lazy is in this industries. Okay? The next word is gigantes. Gigantic. Gigantic, what is the uh, opposite of gigantes? It is, of course, uh, mind. Okay, little, sorry, of little. Okay, my mind. Say, my not is the contrary of gigantic. Use large, strong, and big. Okay, you have the word friendly. What is the synonym of friendly in the text? The synonym of friendly is, of course, here, hostile. Hostile, you can say, is a synonym of friend. Uh, I can say an opposite, okay? Opposite of 
friendly or antonym of friendly. Number seven, you have dull. Dull, the opposite of dull. So when you say dull is something who is uh, slow, uh, sad, you can say, and uh, heavy if you want, okay? So those three, those three words uh, are synonym of dull. Uh, sad, heavy, and slow, okay? Uh, so dull, the synonym is in this line, exciting. Okay, synonym, the contrary is exciting. Exciting. See? You have the word dare. Dare, okay, daring, mm -hmm. somebody who, uh, who isn't, I can say, um, who is not afraid of anything, okay, someone who is courageous enough, uh, okay, who is not afraid of doing something or about things. Okay, so the contrary is someone who is, we say, timid. Timid, okay, sad, coy, for example. Okay, you have the word dear dear okay the contrary of dear is sheep sheep okay so dear sheep narrow mind the contrary of narrow mind is broad mind. So here you have broad. Broad mind, narrow mind, something, uh, somebody who does not think a lot or who haven't got the capacity of thinking a lot, okay? Uh, so to be broad mind is someone who is very huge in knowledge, who know many things, uh, you see, a scholar, you can say, is a borrow man because he read, uh, reads a lot of books, okay? Broad mind, can say in French, ouvert d'esprit, narrow mind, étroit d'esprit. Huh? Good. Uh, real, what is the opposite of real? Is imaginary. Imaginary is the opposite of real. Something what is real is something which is concrete. Okay, good. We can see that we can touch. Okay, you have horrible. What is the opposite of horrible? Horrible is something negative, something bad. So, it is the contrary, the contrary of horrible is here wonderful. Wonderful. 
something which is good, which is excellent, nice, you say, wonderful. Okay? Gradually, gradually, what is the opposite of gradually? Gradually, the opposite is, of course, sudden. Sudden is the opposite of gradual. Sudden. Kin. Kin on. Kin, what is the opposite of kin? What is the opposite of kin? Timmy uh, already said. What is the opposite of kin? It is, of course, uninteresting. You have it here. Kin, uninteresting. Un Untrusted, okay. That means something that not please you. You don't mind about it. You don't care about it. To be keen on is to like something very much, okay. Uh, to like it. Uh, you have the last word, fortunate. Fortunate is. Uh, be lucky, be happy if you want. And the contrary is unfortunate. Unfortunate. Uh, fortunate. Uh, unfortunate. Malheur. Good. So this is uh, what I propose you today as a lesson. And uh, we are at the end of this class of today. I see you next time. Thank you very much.